This week I'm at Eugene Makerspace with my friend Weston. We're going to start designing and building a pumpkin chunker. Eugene Makerspace is putting on their second annual pumpkin chunking competition in about five or six weeks from now. And we're going to try a sort of spinning design. So this is a really simple drawing of what we're sort of planning to build. It's going to have a big sturdy stand in the middle and then this long, probably around six feet long arm. And the idea is it will spin from the middle and this arm will slowly rotate faster and faster. It'll have a pumpkin in the end of it with some kind of holder or sling. And it'll gradually build up speed until it hits maximum speed. And then we'll have to have some kind of electronic sensor in here so it can determine how fast it's going so that it'll know exactly when to let go of that pumpkin so it'll go out at about a 45 degree angle. Because we obviously don't want the pumpkin to shoot backwards or up in the air straight into the ground. So that'll be kind of tricky. We're talking about probably having a counterweight on the other end to balance the pumpkin's weight. It'll also probably be chain driven and we'll have the motor down here connected to some kind of battery so we don't need to plug it in and possibly make it bicycle powered which I think would be really cool to make a completely human powered machine but we'll see what we have time to do and what we can figure out. So now we just need to figure out how we're actually going to build this thing. On our first day, we decided to just build the frame. This would give us a good base to build everything else off of. So like with most projects, we had to start by measuring. We built the entire frame out of 2x4s. A bunch of straight cuts, and then a few 45 degree angled cuts. These would be used to build the triangular legs. Next we lined all the pieces up and clamped them to the table. Then we pre-drilled some holes, and drove in some screws. These triangular pieces will all be identical, and will just bolt onto the main frame. This way we can easily break it down and transport it in our car. Once those were done, we had to bolt them to the upright. So we clamped one of the supports to a four foot length of two by four. Then we drilled two quarter inch holes all the way through. The drill bit just barely made it. Then we pushed through a quarter inch bolt and threaded on the nut. Next we'll need to build an identical one of these and then put a leg on the front of one of them and the back of the other. These will eventually be attached together with a small piece of wood at the bottom. But first we need to attach a leg on the front and on the back. To drill through the 2x4 the long way, we use the drill press. Then we drilled matching holes in the legs. Then all we had to do was bolt it on. We bolted them down tight and we were good to go. And here's what the final product looks like. You can see the two halves are connected with a 12 inch piece of 2x4 at the bottom. This means we can take the whole thing apart and just have four legs and one U-shaped frame. Next week we're going to have to start working on the arm and the spinning mechanism. If you enjoyed this video, please like or subscribe to let me know.